Hello, welcome to the Polyglot Files. My name is Michael and today we're doing a video on how to study multiple languages at once. I've gotten a few requests for this video and I think it's an important topic because becoming a polyglot or trying to learn multiple languages at the same time is not something that's easy to do. For those who don't know, I've been studying languages since I was a child. I started French in elementary school, as is the norm here in Canada. I learned Italian and German through university. In my adult life, I've studied Afrikaans, and recently I've started studying Russian as part of a vlog series documenting me learning a language from scratch. Now, I'm not claiming to be a completely proficient polyglot. I don't know all of these languages perfectly, at least not yet. But learning multiple languages at the same time is no easy task. However, I have a few tips and tricks that I've learned over my years studying multiple languages, and I wanted to share them with you. Tip number one for learning multiple foreign languages at the same time. Build a basis in each new language individually. As someone who loves languages, I want to study them all. Literally. However, from a practical viewpoint, that's just not possible. So instead of trying to learn your languages at the same time, my recommendation is to try and learn one language at a time. But wait, didn't I just say this video was about learning multiple languages at once? What I mean to say is that you should strive to build a basis in one language at a time. For example, if you want to learn French and German, but you've never studied either of them before, my recommendation is that you pick one language, build a strong basis in that one, before starting your second language. What I'm trying to say is, save the multiple language learning part of your language learning process to maintaining languages. But when you want to take on a new language, focus solely on that. Further, you should make sure that you're learning a new language efficiently. Classes or online self-study programs are great options. Textbooks or grammar guides are also great options. However, you should be weary of almost the language learning get fluent quick schemes. Those one word a day foreign language learning apps aren't going to make you fluent in the language on their own. They can be part of a bigger program, but you're missing huge parts of language learning if you're just using a one word a day language app. Unfortunately, and I hate to break this to you, but there is no quick fix to learning a language. There are no shortcuts. However, if you're serious about learning languages and you're really interested in them, that shouldn't necessarily scare you. Tip number two for learning multiple languages at once. Take advantage of your language inventory. So let's go back to my previous example. Let's say you started studying French, you got a basis in it, and then you decided to switch over to German, you got a basis in that, and now you're studying both languages simultaneously. What if you want to take on a third language? Well, you should tap into what's called your language inventory. Somewhere in your brain, you're housing three separate sets of grammatical systems. One for English, which I'm assuming is your native language, one for French, which seems to be the first language that you've studied, and one for German. So if you want to pick up a new language, you should consider one that is similar to one of three of those languages. For example, Dutch might be a language that you learn, or Afrikaans, simply because English and German, two languages that you already speak or have already studied, are Germanic languages, like those two languages. Tip number three for learning multiple languages at once, and this tip actually has to do with learning languages simultaneously. Make the most of your downtime. When you're not slaving over a foreign language textbook or putting time into doing well in a foreign language course, you should try and incorporate your target language or the languages that you're learning into your everyday life. This means you should try and listen to the radio or watch movies or watch TV in your target language. You should try reading books in your target language. Or maybe you just try having conversations with yourself in your target language about the things that you're doing around the house, such as doing laundry or cooking dinner. Further, you should take advantage of the fact that we live in the 21st century. Technology is by far your best language learning ally. And the best way to use technology is to download a few apps. You can use language learning apps anywhere and anytime, whether you're on the train on your way to work, whether you're eating lunch, or whether you're sitting on the toilet. Some obvious language learning apps include Duolingo and Memrise, but my recent favorite is an app called Flash Academy. Currently, I'm using Flash Academy to help me refresh my German, but it also offers language learning programs for French, Italian, and Spanish. Flash Academy has gamified language learning, so it uses various games in order to learn vocabulary as well as grammatical constructions. 
I particularly love it because it forces you to practice the four main areas of language learning, listening, speaking, reading, and writing, all of which are essential to becoming fluent in a language. In terms of vocabulary, each new learned word has an audio as well as a video component to help you really hone the pronunciation of that word. Hören. Furthermore, the course covers topics such as food and drink, or work and school, or even advanced topics such as politics and religion. However, I think some of the most powerful features of Flash Academy are the flashcards for new vocabulary words, as well as its really awesome object translator. So the object translator uses your camera on your phone or on your tablet to scan the object that is in front of you to give you an instant translation in the language you're trying to learn. I think that is super useful, especially when you're doing stuff around the house or even sitting on the toilet and you want to figure out how to say toilet paper in your target language. If you're interested, Flash Academy is available from the Play Store as well as the Apple Store and I'd love to know what you think of it. And finally, tip number four for learning multiple languages at once. Have a schedule. So whether you're learning languages from scratch or whether you're trying to maintain the languages that you've already been studying, Time management really is key. When you're trying to learn six languages like I am, as well as juggling work, friends, family, as well as trying to lead a healthy lifestyle, a schedule is a must. So as you can see, my suggestion is set weekly goals and stick to them. These goals could change week to week, but definitely make sure that you're trying to hit every single language you're studying. Now what happens if you don't make your language learning goals each week? Well, I guess you should just give up. I'm totally kidding. If you don't make your language learning goals for a particular week, don't stress over it. Just try and make sure you reach your goals for the next week. Remember, you should be learning languages because you want to, not because it's a chore. All right, those are my tips for learning multiple languages at once. If you have something you'd like to add, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter as well as Instagram. Thanks for watching the Polyglot Files. See you next time.